In today's video, we are going to talk about 15 things you must do after installing Fedora 36. Myself, Mohammed Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, as we know that Fedora 36 is going to get released officially on 3rd May and as expected, we'll have some new features and updates. But still, just like any other operating system or any other Linux distribution, there are some things that we should do in order to get the best out of any operating system and same goes for Fedora. So I'll show you 15 those things. Number one, update your system. For that purpose, I'll open my terminal, which is right here. I will just open this one and now we'll update our system and the command for that is sudo dnf update and you just need to hit enter. It will update your system after you enter your password. So here it has started the process and the only update that I need is 1.5 megabytes. So I will just press Y and I will just hit enter and it will take a few seconds to update my Fedora. So we are done with the update and let's clear our terminal and now let's move on to the next one. Number two, install system optimizer. While Stacer is a free system cleaner and a monitoring software for your Fedora system. With this tool, you can clean up the system caches, its log, startup applications, trash, etc. You can also monitor the system performance, its processes, historical resource usages, and it also include built-in package and installer. So first of all, I'll download it and I will just paste the command and I will put the command in the description so you can follow that. So I will just paste it here, hit enter. It will include it into my system. Well, basically I have already done that. So that is why it will not take a lot of time in my case as you will be doing it for the first time. So in your case, it will take a little bit of time to download it and install it. So we are done with downloading it. Now it's time to install it. And the command for that is sudo space dnf space install space stacer hyphen. Now we need to write its version and the version is 1.0.8 underscore x64 and after that dot rpm and you just need to hit enter now. So now we are ready to download and install it. Press y and hit enter. So we are done with the download and installation of our Stacer. Now let me clear my screen and let's move ahead. Number three, install Wine. Well, Wine is a very prominent software that is meant to help you to run different Windows application in your Linux distribution. Well, not all the applications may run as expected, but this is a very useful tool if you need to run some particular Windows program into your Fedora. To download and install it, you just need to follow one simple command and the command is sudo dnf space install space wine and you just need to hit enter and now it will start the process to download and install wine into our system. I have already done that, that is why it says nothing to do. If I just search for wine into my system, well here we have wine available and now if I just click on it. So as you can see, our wine has been launched and as we are using it for the first time, so it is getting updated. But now we have an idea that we have successfully installed wine into our Fedora. Number four, install RPM Fusion. Well, due to Fedora policy on shipping different packages that do follow certain standards and rules related to patents and library of different software, there might be chance that some packages will not be available to be installed from the official Fedora repositories. So there are chances that most of the time you can find those packages that you need in your RPM Fusion. So it's a repository that ships what Fedora doesn't accept. So I'll show you that how you can install or you can include it into your Fedora 36. Basically, there are two repositories to add. One of them is a free repository which only contains free software and I'll show you that how you can include it into your Fedora. I'll just paste the command again and I will put both of these commands into the description of this video. So this command will include the free softwares or free repository into your Fedora. Just hit enter. So we are done with this one and now it's time to add the non-free repository. As the name suggests, it will contain non-free softwares into your Fedora. 
just hit enter and this has been added as well let me clear my terminal and let's move ahead number five enable fastest mirror plugin fastest mirror is a plugin that simply determines the nearest mirror available to you at the moment let's say you are located in canada and then instead of downloading packages for you from the us it will try to find a mirror that is near to your geographical location to make the download process faster so to enable that plugin we have to append a file into our fedora and the command for that is sudo nano nano basically is a text editor backslash etc backslash dnf backslash dnf.conf which is a file hit enter this is the file that has been opened and now we have to add one line in here and the line will be fastest mirror equals true so we are done with adding our plugin and now we just need to get out of this to get out of your text editor just press ctrl x as it says in here after that press y to save the changes and hit enter so we are done with this one as well number six install feddy well feddy is a graphical tool that allows you to tweak your fedora system in a very few clicks the application allows you to run different set of predefined system commands that will install and configure a lot of stuff in your fedora it can help you from normal apps to your themes and it will also help you tweak your system and feddy can do almost everything that you might need in your fedora so first of all to install feddy on your latest fedora release we have to make sure that we have already enabled the rpm fusion repositories in the previous step so as we have done that already so now it means we are ready to download and install feddy into our fedora so before we install feddy here we have to add feddy copper repository using a command and the command is sudo dnf space copper or copr space enable space now just write here kwi z a r t after that backslash and just write here feddy and hit enter press y as it is asking for the confirmation hit enter and here it says repository successfully enabled and now we are ready to install feddy and the command for that is sudo dnf space install feddy space hyphen y hyphen y is a flag which means yes hit enter and now it will download and install feddy into our fedora 36 so we have to wait for it as it will take a little bit of time to complete the process as i have already installed it into my system that is why it has taken nothing and in your case it will take a bit of time and now let's search for feddy into our system so i will just write here feddy here it is i will just open this one so this is how it looks like and as you can see we have different packages already in front of us that we can download and install into our fedora 36 other than that we have development tools we have drivers we can download and install different themes we can do different tweaks with respect to our fedora and at the end we have some utilities and you can also search for a particular thing here as well so i will just close this one let me clear my terminal and let's move ahead number seven install tlp well some linux distribution or you can say some specific hardware sometimes uses a little bit of high percentage of your battery the main and the easiest thing that you can do to solve this problem on fedora is simply installing a tlp tlp is a utility which will make sure that your system is optimized and it do not use a lot of power and it will also manage your power system and power profiles into your fedora so the command for that is sudo space tnf space install space tlp space tlp hyphen r d w and you just need to hit enter now press y hit enter again so we are done with the download of our tlp now we need to enable this and the command for that is sudo space system ctl space enable space tlp and just hit enter and our tlp has been enabled successfully and now you just need to restart your system in order to take these changes permanent place number eight install htop well top is a default utility or you can say it is a utility that comes pre-installed into every linux distribution with the help of this utility you can have the information about all the processes that are running at the moment as you can see these are the processes 
that are running and these are their IDs. And then we have all the information about how much resources are being used by each process at the moment. And on the top, we have summary of all the resources and all the information. With the help of HTOP, we get the same information, but we get this information in more sophisticated and in more pleasing way. Let me just get out of this. And now I'll show you that how you can install HTOP. Command for that is sudo dnf space install space htop and hit enter and now i will launch my htop and let's see how does it look like well now as you can see now we have information in more sophisticated way and it is using a bit of color in here number nine install time shift backup well we do not have the time shift installed by default in our fedora so for those who do not know what time shift is basically it's a recovery tool with the help of this particular tool you can create a backup of your system by creating a point and when your system runs into any problem you can go back to that particular point that you had created and mostly for experiment purposes time shift is a very good tool command for that is sudo dnf space install space time shift and just hit enter i have already installed it so now let's search for time shift into our system here it is it is already available i will just open it and let's see how does it look like give it your password hit enter once again and this is how it looks like so from here you can select the snapshot type click on next and from here it will start estimating the system size and you just need to follow the instruction that will be given on the screen and you will be able to create a point for your backup into your fedora 36 number 10 increase internet speed well, for that purpose, let me open my Mozilla Firefox, which is right here. So this is our Mozilla Firefox and this is how it looks like. So let's search for something into this one. I will just write here gmail.com. And now if I hit just enter, as you can see, it is taking a little bit of time before loading the actual website. There can be many reasons. One of the reason can be the internet service provider and the DNS it is using. To get rid of this problem, we can do one thing and we can add the DNS server as per our liking. So I will just close this one and to do so, just go to your top right corner and click on your power option. From here, go to your wired connected and click on wired settings. From here, click on this gear icon and go to your IPv4 section. Here if you see the DNS is enabled, I will just disable this one and I will add my own. I will add here 8.8.8.8 .8 and after that I will add one more and the second one will be 8.8.4.4 .4. so basically we have added the addresses of two DNS server this is the DNS server of Google itself so obviously it is pretty fast and it will work just fine in your Mozilla or in any other browser and now you will have best internet speed available so just click on apply and you are good to go so i will just close this one and let's move ahead number 11 install raw and zip utilities well almost every one of us uses the raw and zip file utilities but extracting some of the archives requires you to have some proper tools to be installed so we can install raw and zip utilities in our fedora by just one simple command so the command for that is sudo space dnf space install space unzip and you just need to hit enter number 12 install python well as we all know that most of the people use linux distribution for programming and python is one of the prominent language and it is a very powerful and as it is also known as language of data sciences so in order to install it into your fedora we just need to follow one simple command and the command for that is sudo space dnf space install space python 3 i'll go with python 3 and i will just hit enter so here it says nothing to do because python 3 has already been installed into my system and now let's check the version of python 3 into our system so i will write here python 3 space hyphen hyphen version hit enter so python 3.10 is installed into my system and it is ready to use Number 13, install genome tweaks. Well, if you are using genome desktop environment as we are already doing that, then you should have this utility or this tool into your Fedora. With the help of this, 
you can do a lot of things you can install some extension in the system and packages and you can do a lot of tweaks with your system as well as you can see we do not have any maximize or minimize button in here with the help of genome tweak we can do so so i will just write here sudo dnf space install genome hyphen tweak hit enter so we are done with the installation and now i'll search for tweak into my system here it is i will just open this one so this is how it looks like so from here you can do a lot of things if i go to my keyboard and mouse here i have different things that i can perform then i have my top bar and i have my windows title bar and i have many things as you can see in our windows title bar under the title bar button section we have maximize and minimize so if i enable both of these as you can see we have maximize and minimize button appeared on the top of each application so this is how you can do a lot of stuff with your genome tweak tool i will just close this one and now let's move ahead number 14 install vim well vim is a text editor which is a very powerful one it doesn't get shipped with every linux distribution in some of the linux distribution you have to download and install it so as we have earlier used nano vim also works just like that but it is more powerful and more faster to download and install vim into your fedora the command is sudo space tnf space install space after that just write here vim and hit enter so we are done with this one i will just clear my terminal here and now let's open a file with the help of our vim i will just write here vim space dot bash rc it is a file which already exists into my system so this is how it looks like and this is how you can use your vim to open different files and now let's move ahead number 15 install neofetch well to install neofetch into your fedora you just need to write one simple command and with the help of neofetch you will get the system information with just one simple command so first of all i'll show you that how you can download and install it command for that is sudo dnf space install space neo fetch and just hit enter give it your password hit enter once again and it is already installed into my system in your case it will take some time now let's launch it so i will just write here neo fetch hit enter so this is how it looks like and as you can see i have all the information in front of me in a single screen with one simple command and that was all about the 15 things that you should do after installing your Fedora 36. And I hope now that you will consider doing all these things in order to get the best out of your system. If that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.